Welcome to this presentation. I'm Fang Cheng Liu from Peking University. Now I'll talk about our work towards transferable unrestricted adversarial examples with minimal changes. Although deep neural networks have achieved impressive performance, they are vulnerable to adversarial examples, where test inputs that have been modified slightly might cause misclassification. Most positive results on adversarial attacks have focused on bright both settings. However, the problem becomes more challenging when it comes to the black box setting, where the attacker has no information about the black box model. In this setting, adversarial examples are typically generated through transfer-based methods. For example, attacking an ensemble of source models and hoping that the same adversary examples are able to fool the unknown test model. Our work is based on existing fixed, fixed radius attacks. For the L infinity norm setting, we formulate a strong baseline DTMI by combining three tricks the input diversity method, moment based method, and transition environment method. The usage of these tricks is to prevent overfitting on the attacking model F. For the unrestricted setting, instead of adding perturbations in the input space directly, we enlarge or shrink the mean and standard deviation of the latent embedding, which can change the style information of the image while preserve its semantic. Moreover, the same tricks in the L infinity norm setting, such as input diversity and the moment based method, can be integrated to improve transferability. Despite a large amount of work on transfer based attacks, many fundamental questions remain unresolved. For example, existing transfer based attacks that search for adversarial examples in a fixed radius non bore often require a high perturbation budget to reach a good transfer success rate. However, such perturbations might be perceptible to humans. This figure is the comparison between our method and two baselines, and both the l infinity norm and the unrestricted setting, using various perturbation radius. In the even corners, we present the top 5 confidence bar of the target model for the images in the left. The ground truth label is marked by pink, and other labels are marked by blue. In each row, the misclassified adversarial example with minimal perturbation radius is highlighted by a blue bounding box, indicating that the minimal perturbation budgets required for distinct images are different. Note that the human imperceptible constraint is followed when the L infinity norm perturbation radius is too large. However, our GA framework generates transferable unrestricted adversarial examples with lower budgets and smaller chains when compared to the original images. On the other hand, unrestricted attacks that aim to generate Minimal human imperceptible perturbations suffer from weaker transferability to the target model. In this figure, for each transfer based adversarial example, we present the perturbation on its right. For each perturbation crafted through our method, we print its perturbation budget in the up corner left, in up left corner. Although the transfer based L infinity norm attack GADTMI is able to fold the defense test model to a certain extent. The generated perturbations can be human perceptible. Besides, the other two unrestricted attacks suffer from weaker transferability when compared to our method. The last three adversarial examples preserve its prediction after the attack, such as the recolor and the feature-based attack. The imperceptibility of adversarial examples is hard to evaluate due to the lack of a precise quantization of human perception. Prior work found that LP norm distance 
is not an ideal perceptual similarity metric, and suggests setting adaptive perturbation budget for every sample to ensure that the generated adversarial examples would be imperceptible. Therefore, we choose transfer success rate and the perturbation budget under certain distance metric as our main evaluation metrics. We only count the misclassified examples on the test model and defined average total score as the following. It factorizes the average total score as the product of a transfer success rate and the defined average perturbation reward, which motivates, motivates us to find the adversarial example with minimal changes under the metric. However, direct optimization of this problem is intractable due to the lack of information about the test model G. We approximately solve this problem by changing the continuous space of perturbation radius into a discrete set and choosing the minimum perturbation budget such that the attack is able to fool the test model. Firstly, we split all source models into the training model set and the validation model set. To solve the problem, we first divide the attack in the fixed number into k sub-procedures. In the k sub-procedure, we rerun a fixed radius attack algorithm on training model F with an increasing perturbation budget. To obtain a minimal radius solution, we perform an early stopping mechanism at the end of each sub-procedure if the probability of the ground truth on the validation model edge is smaller than threshold eta. Our GA framework is summarized in algorithm 1 and illustrated in this figure. Our geometry aware framework aims to find geometry aware minimal change perturbation for a validation model edge. The goal of this validation model is to prevent an attack algorithm overfitting the training model F by forcing the final solution to across the decision boundary of edge with a certain margin. Note that the output of our GA framework is related to the choice of the training model F and the validation model edge. Thus, it's important to figure out which partition of the source models performs better. And our answer is, as our defined the partition loss, lower partition loss will lead to better performance. Instead of traversing all possible partitions to select the optimal split, we propose a query-free approach that only use the information of transferability between the pre-trained models. We split n pre-trained models into k training models and n minus k validation models. Thus, there is total c and k kinds of combinations. The partition loss is defined as the following. Minimizing the first formula of equation H encourages intergroup diversity. To make the decision boundary of the ensemble model more general and effective, we minimize the transfer success rate between any two pre-trained models inside this group. While minimizing the second formula of equation H is penalizing extra-group similarity. If the training model F equals to the validation model H, the early stopping mechanism will be triggered too early leading to small adversarial perturbations for all inputs. Reducing the transferability from the training model F to the validation model edge might improve generalization of the adversarial examples to unknown test models. Empirically, we find that the proposed partition loss negatively correlates with the average total score. We conduct linear regression for the scatter plot between the partition loss and the average total score. Each point here is a kind of partition, and the partition loss negatively correlates with the average total score. The average correlation 
across different cities between them is around 80%. We present the counterplot of average total score in figure 4 when fixing average perturbation reward as 0, 1, 2 or approach G8 DTMI surpasses the baseline DTMI by up to 81%. In terms of transfer success rate, as shown in Table 2, our approach yet a significant performance boost on the average total score across various threat models, especially in the L infinity norm setting, where both the transfer success rate and the average perturbation reward are improved. In the CVPR21 secret AI challenge, contestants were asked to submit adversary examples without any access to the defense models. The final score of each submission was manually scored from two, two aspects, the image schematic and image quality. We apply our method GADTMI to the competition, where our entry ranked first place out of 1,559 teams. In the adversary competition, our training and validation models are both an ensemble of eight high-performance models. We report the final score and average image quality level in Figure 5. It shows that our method outperforms other approaches by a large margin. In particular, we surpass the runner-up submission by 4.59% and 23.91% in terms of final score and average image quality level, respectively. The final scores were manually scored by multi-human referees. That's all about our work. Thanks for your listening.